So I'm uh, Nicola. I'm from Frayne, and we're uh, we're a startup here in, um, uh, in in the valley. Uh, we've been in Menlo Park last couple of years. Just moved to uh, San Mateo on Friday. So uh, we we made a big effort uh, to um, uh, kind of get here and work really hard uh, to show something really cool because for what we do, and that's running any app in the cloud, delivering it to any device, um, you know, remotely at minimal latency. So uh, gig uh, connections are, are crucial. So before I start, let me just ask you: How many of you have used FTP servers or network drives uh, in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s? A lot of you did. Okay. How many of you use, use Dropbox or Google Drive these days? Which one you like better? Dropbox. Okay. So, how many of you now have used any sort of remote desktop, VNC, Citrix? Okay. So, what Frame is for remoting application? applications is what Dropbox is to old school storage. So it's ex extremely easy to use. It's a pleasure to use. Anyone can use it. You don't have to install anything. Anything runs very smoothly from um, uh, the cloud, and we can deliver into any browser. No plugins required. And uh, you know, really the missing link um, that we have, obviously, is a, is a gig connection. Because once you do that, you can decouple where the application runs from, which is the cloud from where you use it. And um, uh, as I said, we've been around for a couple of years. Uh, we are at uh, Frame, which is FRA.me, and uh, running an app. This is a couple of demos that we have. is as easy as uh, clicking on an application. It's in a browser decoding. I'm going to geek out here. It's uh, pure JavaScript, so you don't have to install anything. It's going to run in any browser, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, on any device. And because I'm on a really cool network, you can see how smooth the graphic runs. So this is not your father's VNC or your grandfather's uh, ter X terminal or whatever. This is super smooth on a super duper network. And uh, we are running great over cable and cellular and uh, you know, up to HD. Uh, it runs really great, runs really cool, even on Chromebooks. Uh, and that's why I'm showing, like, for example, Google Earth here. You can install, we hear from schools all the time that move to Chromebooks. We can't run Google's software on Google's hardware. Uh, Google Earth doesn't run Chromebooks. So it's a, it's a great example. And as I said, you can run any application. No need to modify your app. So why are we here? And what we've tried to do this weekend was to go step beyond that and go to 4K. And uh, we've hacked uh, support for resolutions that really go up to 4K. And uh, I'm going to fire up uh, Adobe Premiere Pro here. Um, and uh, you can decide whether you want to run an app in a browser or in our own little terminal. So it's like a little client. And um, here I have Adobe Premiere Pro. I loaded it with some 4K video. And I'm going to resize that. And once you start into pushing those really, really high resolutions and high number of pixels, that's where really gigabit shines and low latency shines. So you can see, and let me play this um, here. So it looks like audio doesn't come through, but I'm going to unplug so you can hear in here. Now, you can see how smooth this editing is. Um, let me play it. And let me, so the resolution, uh, resolution adapts. OK. OK. So right now, this is running at a resolution that's matching my window size. So if I resize it, I'll maximize it. And you'll see that it's going to match the resolution of my output. Just uh, give it a second. Yes. So right now, this is Premiere Pro running at the resolution of my screen, which is 1440 by 900. But what we hacked over the weekend is we can go up to insanely high resolution. Um, so if I had a 4K monitor here, you can see that we are streaming with minimum latency, I'm going to show stats here. So you can see the latency is like 10, 13 milliseconds, which is imperceivable by a video editor. The bandwidth goes up 30, 35 megabits a second. That's where we really need to be. So that's where it really shines again compared to your cable that you know, maybe can peak there, but won't give you a reliable network. And then um, you know, it's adaptive frame rate, adaptive bit rate. We use NVIDIA Grid on the back end. This runs on Amazon. So basically, by decomposing or deconstructing your PC into compute and graphics on one side, you can use anything as a terminal. So this could be on your uh, um, iPad, on your Chromebook. It doesn't really matter. And the cool thing is you can use your Dropbox or Google Drive as storage. 
So it's, you know, the deconstruction of a PC is complete. You know, you have files in one place, that's your hard drive, you have computing graphics and RAM in another place, and you can scale that on demand so you can go up or, or down um, as you want. It runs on, a, on uh, Amazon right now. We're adding support for uh, um, Azure and, and, and Google Cloud as well. But you can see how awesome this is. Um, and um, it's really gigabit proliferation of gigabit connections that's going to get us to uh, fulfill the full promise. Um, let me just pause it. <laughs> so then talk over. Fulfill the pr full promise of the cloud, and we believe that this is by far the easiest, most powerful, most personal cloud computing that you'll ever have. And uh, we're now, uh, we've been uh, working with some large software vendors like Adobe Siemens, and right now we're in beta. We're opening Frame for everyone, so you can go to Frame website, sign up, and uh, you know uh, you can load your own applications up there. So uh, any app that you want to load, you, you want to uh, run in the cloud, go upload it and uh, stream it to any device that you want. And we have that we call that Frame Personal, and uh, we have Frame for Business, which is obviously for businesses, teams, and, and schools. So we're going to be in GA uh, later this summer. And uh, thanks for um, you know inviting us. It's been awesome to run this. I've never seen it running this well. It's it's just kind of blue blew our mind to see how well this works. Thank you.